What's up guys, Pat here. I was tooling around the old interwebs today and I found that uh, Marlin has populated the Dark Series rifles on their website, which is actually kind of cool. So the Marlin Dark, you know, I've had one for about the last three years. I got mine for $9.29 right there at the beginning of the coof. And I promise you, I could have let that thing loose for at least 2,500 bucks. I don't know how many times. Actually, at the last week, the last range day, I had a fella trying to buy it. So I know they're very desirable rifles. But now Marlin has dropped their information here. They've got the Dark Series lever action rifles. And what I see here are some kind of cool stuff, but then I see something that looks like a pretty decent flaw in their design. Um, so here we've got it right here on the website. Marlin Dark Series lever action rifles featuring a nylon reinforced polymer stock with M-lock attachment slots. Dark Series rifles bring a modern look to the classic Marlin rifle, which looks like they've done an okay job. Um, it looks a little plain in some areas, but then it looks pretty decent in some other areas. But now right here, this nylon reinforced polymer stock with M-lock attachment slots for mounting accessories. So therein lies the first flaw that I see. They've tried to make that accessory panel, I guess you'd call it, they've tried to make that ambi. So it's sitting in there recessed. So a lot of guys like to put quivers there, ammo quivers. And so with that one being recessed, a 4570 ammo quiver, since the cartridge is so long, I don't think it's really going to fit. And then those shelves are going to keep you from getting the ammo out. So I don't really see that M lock for being a whole lot of useful. But now let's step up front to the anodized aluminum handguard. It features M lock attachment slots for mounting of accessories. Now, M lock, a lot of you guys know what M lock is. I work customer service for a certain company, and I know that a lot of people don't know what M lock is. So M lock is standardized. Magpul will give you a license just to make sure that you're, you're, you're standardized, that way everything fits. Flashlights, lasers, all the stuff, ammo quivers, anything like that will fit M-Lock. You can mount it right side up, upside down. Looks like they've got three, six, and nine o'clock attachment points here. They've got a QD, so I like that. That QD is there. They've ran that mag tube out all the way out to the threads. I think that looks pretty good. So now, threaded barrel, absolutely threaded barrels. Thread all the things. Thread all the lever guns. Thread all the bolt guns. I don't know why in 2023 that anything comes unthreaded. So good to rigor on that one. So they've got a threaded barrel with a factory installed match polished radial muzzle brake that has an 11 16 by 24 pattern. So it is threaded for your favorite whisper pickle being a suppressor. Fiber optic front sight with a trishum ring. Is it trishum or tritium? Nobody ever answers me. Anyway, trishum ring for improved visibility in low light conditions. That is pretty sick. So you get a uh, fiber optic front sight with an adjustable ghost ring rear. And then the Picatinny rail provides a stable mounting surface for scope rings and a variety of optics. Looks like you got tons of real, real estate there. Put an LPVO, clip on thermal, you know, whatever you need. Um, and then of course, if you're running a, uh, an NV setup, a uh, day and night scope, that M-lock on the handguard gives you plenty of room for an IR, so you can have an, an illuminator. So generous recoil pad that effectively absorbs recoil. Cheek riser included for an optimum sight picture when using an optic. So yeah, you can use an optic. Um, I'd imagine if you choose a nice low mounted optic, I see guys running the AR height stuff. It looks goofy, it's not <laughs> effective. Um, lever guns in some right are ballistically challenged, so if you can have a lower mechanical offset, It'll seem to shoot flatter. Not, it won't shoot flatter. It'll just seem to shoot flatter. So that's part of my pick. So now here we go. Here's where they start dropping hints. Well, this first one, it says mar models. Model 1895. So you can pause that and check out those, uh, those specs there. One of the more interesting specs I see that is the barrel length is 16.17 inches. I guess that 0.17 inches is enough to keep the ATF from shooting your dog. <laughs> so limited availability. We'll talk about that here in just a little bit. I've actually got an email for some dealers here. Now, the cool thing is I do have my Marlin 336 and I really enjoy it. Uh, so they've got a 336 that's coming out. Availability early 2024. Model 1894 coming out. This is going to be in 44 mag. Um, that one's going to have the same furniture and stuff early 2024 availability. So now let's go ahead and talk about this. Let's lay down the phone. I got so much social media. I have to have two phones. I'm not trying to be a hotshot. Let's lay down that phone and go over here to where I've got my dealer email. So 
the dealer email here goes through and shows this thing. Um, it gives another detail that Ruder doesn't actually give on their website. It says uh, Marlin 1895 Dark Series Lever Action 4570, satin black finish, graphite black Cerakote. That graphite black Cerakote is pretty sick. Um, I really like that it's Cerakoted. My Marlin Dark, it had a really bad finish on it. Uh, one day I got it all wet, put it in a rifle case. By the time I got home, the rifle was freaking orange. Um, so it's really cool that uh, Ruger has made that change. So fiber optic front sight with trishum ring, rear adjustable goat string, seven pounds, 35.5 inches overall length. Length of pull is 13.5 inches. Again, 16.17 inch barrel length keeps the ATF from killing your dog. Twist is one in 20, five plus one round capacity. The, yeah, so that's the rest of it. So we have already covered the rest of this. So now the thing is right here, there's a note at the bottom. It says, please note that production on this line will be very limited and will not meet initial demand. So Ruger Marlin, they know that it's not going to meet the initial demand. Because of limited availability, it is advised that dealers not take consumer deposits. So this is where I'm going to stand on my soapbox for just a minute. So in the last three years, lever guns have been ridiculously hot. They've been going on Gun Joker. I call it Gun Joker because it's just driving the prices up. They've been going on Gun Joker for massively more than they should be worth, causing all sorts of uh, frustration. You know, I understand it's a free market. The market's going to do whatever it wants to do. But uh, these guys are just willing to overpay. So actually right here in this dealer email, it would appear that dealer cost is nine fifteen. So if they go much over the MSRP of thirteen seventy nine, there being some gouging horses rear ends. So uh, yeah, you guys that want to pay eighteen hundred and twenty five hundred for stuff, <laughs> realize that uh, the dealer that's selling it's probably making more money, or actually is making more money than Ruger, and not having to manufacture it. So then again, on the same thing right here about the dealers taking deposits. In the last three years, I've noticed in the gun forums and all sorts of stuff, uh, Instagram comment sections, Facebook comment sections, these guys say that my dealer took a deposit for this Henry. When is Henry going to start making guns? Now, the truth is, Henry has always been making guns. You have a crappy dealer because he took a deposit on a gun he couldn't guarantee he got. So you guys that want to put a deposit on something, back up, slow down, wait until you see the gun before you pull the, your wallet out of your pocket. Don't put a deposit on anything because even Marlin is telling the dealers, don't take deposits. So in your same right, don't let a scumbag dealer take your deposit. So anyway, uh, cool stuff coming out here soon. I've got, uh, there's, you can't quite see it. I've got a Henry Golden Boy that's the uh, 17 HMR, the Varmint, the H004V. I'm excited to get that thing out. I've got a Henry Magnum Express I'm about to start cranking out. Um, I'm falling in love with that little Magnum Express. It's a very excellent little rifle. So you guys watch that stuff coming out very soon. And also check out the video, the affiliate links in the description. That helps me turn on the camera and brings videos to you, such as, uh, you know, this new little release. But anyway, y'all have a wonderful day. I love you, and we'll see you next video.